Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, GCON SAN, the Executive Governors here present, Undo, Delta, Akwaibon, Gumbi, Bono, Taraba, and host state Lagos and Kogi represented, the chairman of the APC, governor and chairman, Adam Soshemole, our elder statesmen, particularly Papa Akitola Williams, elder statesman, the Jagaban himself, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, The royal fathers here present, the Oba of Lagos, the Oni of Fife, and please perm permit me to say particularly, my own royal father, the Dane of Agbo. Dane Kagbo Kuzit Benjamin Likechuku. The MD and the chief executives of Zenith Bank and other executive director members, distinguished fellow professionals and bankers here present, ladies and gentlemen. As many of you who know my background would expect, I am very delighted to be in your midst today. Indeed, it would have taken a lot to keep me away from such a gathering, not because of the array of admittedly distinguished guests here present, the wonderful ambience of this venue, or the edifying choice of refresh refreshments. No, the, the depths of my delight emanates uniquely and directly from the person we are all here today to celebrate Mr. Jim Ovia. True giant of our time, obviously not in size, but in all else. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to be given the opportunity to say a few words on the autobiography of this great man. Someone who played a very instrumental and irreplaceable role in my life, having served under his leadership and tutelage at Zenith Bank for over 24 years. <clears throat> for those of us he mentored and coached at Zenith Bank, Jim Ovia possessed many qualities which we all sought to emulate. Expectedly, it is noteworthy that in Jim Ovia's usual magnanimity and generosity, he has shared some of these qualities in this book. And I'm sure you can all understand why he must keep some of these secrets to himself alone. In the book, Africa Rise and Shine, Jim Ovia shares very important words of wisdom drawn from more than 38 year experience as an undeniable trailblazer in Nigeria's banking sector, as well as his experience in the telecommunications and insurance sectors. The book conveys an inspirational message of universal principles that are applicable in every country, which can serve as a guide to millions of young Nigerians on how to succeed especially not only because of the opportunities around you, but also despite the challenges in your environment. These principles are devotion to knowledge, commitment to excellence, and courage to dare when many feared. As you will find in the book, these factors were instrumental in enabling him to build a $16 billion conglomerate from barely 20 million naira at startup of this empire. For those of us who know him and have worked under him, 
Jimovia is the stickler for knowledge and is deeply committed to excellence. These are important principles that should guide local and foreign investors in their approach to Nigeria and African market. Key success factors for investors would be a clear understanding of the potentials of the market, leveraging technology and innovation in providing superior products and services to a market of about 200 million people in the case of Nigeria. If these principles are followed like Jimovia has done in Nigeria, as well as in other parts of the world, you can expect to receive huge rewards for your efforts. In my role as the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, these qualities have served as guiding principle for me and was very useful during the economic downturn that Nigeria faced between 2016 and 17. Under the glaringly distinguished but often unacknowledged leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari, these qualities propelled me to the rest of the economic team to remain focused, to work assiduously, and to reach out to relevant stakeholders in developing solutions that eventually led to Nigeria's recovery from the recession by the third quarter of 2017. Analogous to the forthright leadership and grit that the author Jimovia showed at various times, but particularly during difficult, challenging, and trying times in the history of Zenith Bank, President Muhammad Buhari has continued to demonstrate unparalleled integrity, uncommon wisdom, and undeniable courage in steering a ship of state from what seemed like an entry into doomsday to Nigeria's glorious outcome today, a Nigeria that is growing again, with inflation dropping from nearly 20% to just above 11%, with foreign reserve doubling from just $23 billion to nearly $48 billion in 18 months. I have obviously been fortunate to learn from these two great men, and I want to categorically and unequivocally advise everyone to follow their exemplary lives and footsteps. This advice is particularly important for policymakers and supervised regulators like myself because we must work extra hard to remain above board, knowing that the integrity of regulators is at the core of their responsibility, analysis, pronouncements, and achievements. That is the reason this book is such a timely one for us here in Nigeria and for the world at large. At the core of the book is the fact that success in life is not mostly dependent on the many extraneous factors we pay attention, like parental heritage, ethnicity, religion, physique, or the likes. Rather, what we become in life and what we make of life is critically dependent on dedication, honesty, and diligence in the pursuit of excellence. As Mr. Obvious Life Story knew, shows, and his writing eloquently foretells in this book, notwithstanding the loss of his father at an early age and the challenges his family had to undergo, he remained committed to doing well in school. He was well aware of the huge sacrifice his older brother was making to keep him in school and was focused on making such that those sacrifices will not go in vain. Mr. Ovio recognized at an early age that doing well in school was his sole responsibility and that a good quality education was absolutely leveler for all people and the great enabler for a better future. His quest for knowledge and in developing breakthrough solutions is also found in his appreciation of the value technology could provide in providing efficiency and providing scale to his various businesses. It is therefore not surprising that Zenith was the very first bank in Nigeria to utilize Visa's system, 
which helped in improving service delivery to customers and eventually propelled Zenith Bank to the category of systemically important banks in Nigeria.